Hey, Reckoners, and welcome back. Today's indie game is Tiny and Tall Gleip Gleipnir. That's what I'm calling it, Gleipnir. This looks like, I think it's made by a French company, uh, development studio, rather. Uh, the cool thing about this game is there's actually quite a bit of backstory to it. They have a webcomic, which is still a work in progress. I believe the first three chapters in the prologue are out, and it's about halfway finished, more or less. So I read all those, and then at the bottom is a link to their current Kickstarter, which at the time of this recording has 21 days left, so definitely go check it out. Uh, link Links to the, uh, uh, the comic and the Kickstarter are in the description below. Well, link to a page that has both those on it. You know, the usual drill. Uh, so I read those, and the main premise for this game is Tiny and Tall of the two dwarves who initially forged Molnir, and you are now tasked as them. I'm assuming we're playing as them. They, they, are, they are tasked, rather, with uh, forging chains to bind Fenrir, which is the, the wolf who is Loki's son, and he's going around, you know, eating gods and generally unstoppable. So they're supposed to bind him, because only they can forge links strong enough to stop him. And to forge these things, you have to acquire a number of seemingly impossible items. So let's see exactly what this game entails. I do believe it is a point-and-click adventure. I have not played it at all. Tall. No, Mr. Tiny, it is not acceptable that you lost my hammer, despite the fact I explicitly asked you to put it in its proper place. But Mr. Towel, this shop is such a mess, a mother wouldn't find her own veals in here. That voice is going to change. What do you mean, a mess? All things considered, you might very well be right, Mr. Tiny. Did I skip it by mistake? You're hereby temporarily relieved from your correlated duties. Congratulations, my dear Order and Tidiness Executive. Your first assignment is to find my hammer. Then you'll clean the place. It is a most shameful mess. Okay, so we're playing as Tiny, it seems. Here we are. This is the exact same art. This is sweet. Let's find the hammer. We got some sweet furnace. Okay, okay. Um, I believe I was saying this is a cold LP, so I don't know the solutions ahead of time. So, where the heck are my arms? Oh, there they are. This kind of, this is very familiar to me for some reason. Is it a, like a Tom Ska style, or a Castle Crasher style? I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying it's these guys, but something seems familiar to me. Maybe it's Castle Crashers. Are things going to be discolored when I can actually interact with them? Let's try this weapons barrel. There's a nail bag. It's like a mail bag. Okay, so you clicked on it. You can do anything. Ah, we can right click. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, I see the runes. We can take, we can talk. Let's take the nail bag. I hope these nails will lead me to a hammer. I, I don't know a tiny person's voice. I'm looking real deep. I, like, I can't take the whole barrel, but his wooden shaft doesn't belong here. Take the shaft. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll put it in its place later on. No, that's kind of better. Maybe let's have him be my regular voice. Usually the main character is kind of my regular voice anyway, unless explicitly looks like that would be less than sensical. Let's check out this closet. Let's uh, use the closet door. Oh, it's locked. Damnation, it's locked. Find Mr. Tull's hammer, unlock the closet. Where's my inventory? Is it this book? Oh, here, the bag. How about the big bag? We try that. Let's use the shaft as a lever. It's a sturdy closet. I could break the shaft. We don't want to break the shaft. Definitely not. Let's take these sewing tools. They are now my sewing tools. Excellent. Can I use this shield? No. Tall and tiny. Tall is very orderly. Tiny is not. Oh, that looks like a hammer to me. A hanging hammer. Um, I'm going to try and prod it with this stick, and I'm really going to hope I don't just brain Mr. Tall. The shaft is not long enough. I need to add something to its end. Okay. I'm going to assume that something is in the Goram dresser wardrobe closet, as you say. Let's use the nails. How's that work? They're way too hard to be used as picks. Okay. Let's combine. Let's combine. No. Okay. Let's combine. Combine. Try all the things. No. Okay. No, no combining today, kids. Let's check out this furnace for more combinatronic type things. Listen to the music right now. This is good, atmospheric, not overpowering. Furnace. Let's not talk to the furnace. Let us take use of the furnace. What happens? Absolutely not. I'd get burned. Fair enough, Mr. Tiny. 
What if we put some nails in the furnace? We just threw them in there. That ought to soften them. Okay. Let's, uh... Use the pliers. Definitely no, they're scorching and I'm not wearing gloves. Okay, let's put these other pieces on my hands. Yeah, they're mittens. We got them. Okay, so now let's grab... You got that. Okay. They're very hot. I'll keep them in those pieces of leather. They'll probably last until I figure out what to do with all this. Convenient. So they're soft now. The complaint for them being lockpicks was they were too hard. I don't know that making them softer really helps. I mean, you could reforge them into lockpick shapes, but we'll see if it works. Molten nails will melt the lock. I could use my lockpicks, but they are too hot. Jeez, nothing's frickin' good with you people. Let's combine some things. No? Okay. Let's talk to Mr. Tall. Or is there a bucket of water I can quench them in a little bit? That might make them too hard again. I mean, there's no please in some people, apparently. You there, tall. I must have words with you. Nothing special here. Uh, talk to him. What is it? Did I somehow mistakenly give you the impression that this mission wasn't extremely urgent? Uh, I require assistance. I'm already regretting it, but I'm listening. Uh, may I have the closet key, please? Absolutely not. I keep valuable items in there. I, I, re I really do need this key, Mr. Tall. I don't know what else to do. There's no point in asking me again. You will not obtain this key. Will you leave me alone now? <laughs> Fine, I'll get a clue. Get a clue! Now we are in a forge. Our trade is the shape of metals. We melt iron to give it any shape we like. For instance, the shape of a lockpick. Am I being clear enough? I've got it now, Mr. Tall. Oh, so I thought that no get a clue meant I was getting a clue, not I was asking for a clue. Okay, so we gotta forge these lockpicks. Better get going. Yeah, 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 okay. Um, uh, can I use, what if I just drop these into the water tub? Okay. What in heavens do you think you're doing? What you basically has told me to do, bub. So they're iron picks now. Okay, so that makes sense. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. They've basically been reforged into lockpicks. Uh, they're not just dripping hot little strips of metal, so. I, I, I'm glad this game has reasonable logic. We did it. Now what the heck is in here? Find the hammer, bring it. We did it. Cross it out for me, please. No? Okay. Well, ah, a hook. You need the hook. This will be useful, probably. Let's combine. Boom. You got a hook arm. Who needs a hammer when you have a hook arm? Hook arms are sweet. Okay. We are totally going to beat him on the head. It's not my fault. Let's try not to make it fall. Oops. Let's just go get it, I guess. He didn't notice. Which is a little surprising, but I suppose convenient because he probably wouldn't like us Chucking his precious hammer into the ashes. Pick it up. Can you pick it up? Are you worthy of this locksmith hammer? Locksmith. Blacksmith hammer. Let's hammer him in the back. Do it. Okay, fine. We'll talk to him. No, I can talk to him. What are we going to do? Just talk. There we go. My hammer! You managed to find it. Um... Oh, well, you know, it wasn't that hard. To be honest, I only had to look up, didn't I? Ha ha. Everything else was just a series of shrewd decisions and rudimentary crafting. I'm happy you decided to trust me with this complex mission. I think this ordeal brought us a lot closer. <laughs> I do not care how you accomplish such a partially mundane task. You will now proceed to tidy up this mess we used to call a workshop. This isn't fair. Oh, that's it. It's very short, which I guess makes sense. Uh, oop, and it closed automatically. Um, yeah, so it looks like the game's gonna be taking the route of the, um, the, the webcomic. So I guess don't read it if you don't want spoilers, but I'd say read it because it gives you a very good sense of kind of the, um, the flavor of the world. I think it has a very good level of comedy that you kind of see with some of these uh, web comics, and it's retelling an old Norse myth, which is really um, something right in my bailiwick of interests. So uh, I will definitely be pursuing this game, backing it, you know, trying to play it, make it a full thing, following the web comic, etc., etc. Um, 
I'd say at least read the prologue for the comic. It doesn't have the comedic elements that the rest of the game has, or the story has, because it's kind of uh, leading up to tall and tiny, and it's a lot more serious. But it will give you, you know, important backstory elements and show you kind of some of the cool art this game has. Because I, I find this art style really appealing. It's kind of simplistic, but um, the colors mix. I don't know, it was really good. So uh, excited about this game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Signature catchphrase.